The first equation implies that y is equal to 2 pi upon 3 minus x. Substituting this in the second equation, we get cos of x plus cos of 2 pi upon 3 minus x is equal to 3 upon 2. Opening up the second term on the left hand side, we get cos x plus cos of 2 pi upon 3 times cos x plus sine of 2 pi upon 3 times sine x is equal to 3 upon 2. Now cos of 2 pi upon 3 is equal to cos of pi minus pi upon 3 which is equal to minus of cos of pi upon 3 which is equal to minus half. Similarly sine of 2 pi upon 3 is equal to sine of pi minus pi upon 3 which is equal to sine of pi upon 3 that is equal to root 3 upon 2. Therefore the given equation becomes cos x minus half of cos x plus root 3 upon 2 times sin x is equal to 3 upon 2. This simplifies to half of cos x plus root 3 upon 2 sin x is equal to 3 upon 2. Now on the left hand side in the first term half can be replaced with sin of pi upon 6 and in the second term on the left hand side root 3 upon 2 can be replaced with cos of pi upon 6. Therefore the given equation can be written as sin of pi upon 6 times cos x plus cos of pi upon 6 times sin x is equal to 3 upon 2. The left hand side is the expansion of sin of x plus pi upon 6 and this is equal to 3 upon 2. Now notice that the left hand side which is the sin of an angle must be less than or equal to 1 and the right hand side is clearly strictly greater than 1. Therefore the left hand side can never be equal to the right hand side and so the given equations have no solution.